Hey folks, good afternoon. This is your host Mandeep. It's Feb the 6th and um, I'm going to do another tutorial today related to scans. So um, the goal of uh, today's tutorial is to actually look for stocks that have outperformed the market in the last one quarter. So the criteria that we're going to use for this is um, essentially look for stocks that have gained at least 20% uh, in the last one quarter and uh, in addition the stock has also gained uh, a minimum of 10% in the last month as well. Now since the market has been doing really well uh, you know, over the last several months, uh, if we have uh, too many stocks then uh, we'll apply some further filters to bring that list down uh, to a more manageable list. Um, and then what we're going to do is uh, we're going to look at the uh, ultimate trading st strategy and uh, analyze some of these stocks um, and their performance. So uh, without further ado, let's uh, get into it. and. Uh, so we'll go into the scan tab and uh, in essence we're starting with a blank scan here and uh, click on the add filter and uh, we'll add a study to it right the first thing you need to do is you know you need to click the edit button this is where you can start making your changes it always uh, will default to adx crossover and uh, we're not going to be in the thinkorswim editor because we're going to use just drag and drop to create this scan okay. hit the edit button and then uh, click on the drop down and uh, click on the study and then we look for a study called percent change okay so use that study and double click on it and uh, what you see the length it defaults to is 14 so essentially what it is saying is uh, what is the percentage change um, of the equity price in the last 14 days uh, but we're interested in finding stocks that uh, you know have been doing well over one uh, one quarter so you know, I mean, typically it would be 30, 60, and 90, but since there are 22 trading days in a month, uh, we'll change this to 66. So let's, uh, you know, modify this to 66, and we'll say that the percentage change over the last uh, quarter is uh, greater than or equal to a value of uh, 20. So basically, what we're saying is, give me stocks that have gained at least 20% in the one in the last quarter. So once we have this criteria defined, uh, what we can do is just to you know speed the process up. We just uh, cut and paste this. So we'll copy this, put an AND condition, uh, paste that code back. And now what we want to do is we also want to find stocks that have been outperforming in the last one month, right? So that for that we'll use 22 days, and instead of 20%, we're looking at 10%, right? So. Now, uh, the scan's basically written, so you know, we didn't have to write any code, it was uh, you know, very simple uh, drag and drop. And let's hit the OK button here. And what we'll do is we'll run the scan now to see uh, what kind of results do we get. So now it's produced a large number of stocks. There are almost 1,100 stocks that actually met that criteria. So let's just uh, you know add uh, another filter into it. So click on Add Filter again. And uh, so for those of you who have followed me for a while, you know that uh, I essentially like stocks that have um, you know a decent trading volume. And um, so I prefer you know at least like half a million of trading volume. So we look for average volume over last 30 days to be at least greater than 500,000 okay so let's uh, click enter hit the scan button again um, so what my goal is to bring it down to a very manageable list right because um, you know the whole objective of uh, this dynamic scans is to have a very focused list uh, when you're uh, looking what to trade in the morning uh, you know whether it's a uh, day trade an intermediate term trade right so there's still too many stocks in this so let's just add another stock filter here and uh, uh, we'll look for stocks which have an ATR which is the average true range which defines how much the stock trades in a day let's just use three and this is essentially for you know illustration purposes and uh, once you have this scan you can modify based on the criteria that you like okay so now we're down to about 30 stocks which I think is uh, a fairly manageable list so instead of uh, you know uh, applying further filters why don't we just uh, you know stick with this criteria and for now what we'll do is we'll save it as a watch list let's just call it uh, 
xxx percent change save this now what we'll do is we'll go and find that and uh, so should hopefully easy to find this one and uh, now if you actually save this scan i saved it as a static list but otherwise what you can do is you can go ahead and save this as a scan query so once it is saved as a scan query then you know it's a dynamic list right uh, every day uh, when you're trading if you open it up it's going to give you these results right i mean it, it's dynamic it's uh, going to be adjusting so you, you don't need to mess with it all the time right so so dynamic scans obviously are a very very powerful feature of uh, you know thinkers from and i highly encourage for those of you um, you know who are new to it to try this out and uh, use it okay now let's just go back into charts and you know one of the things i want to do is uh, maybe since we're looking at uh, you know performance of a stock over um, one quarter or over one month uh, a 15 minute time period is perhaps too short for it because you know you'll get uh, um, you know, way too many whipsaws in it um, so i want to get rid of a couple small things because i think it's too my chart is a little too cluttered here and uh, once it uh, you know, enables me to do that and doesn't hang on me then I'll show you what uh, what, what we can do with this you know <clears throat> okay so um, I'm just going to uh, do this again I just want to get rid of this uh, Demark study and uh, so this is the sequence count I'm just going to get rid of it so that we have a little bit uh, a cleaner chart i know it's still a little bit messy but we can take a look at it right so on the four hour charts anyway uh, we had tesla that popped up right this was also in the list one of the things we can do is and see when exactly did this trade trigger right and uh, so we can see uh, it'll give us uh, the actual performance uh, let's just set this to auto and uh, we can uh, now that it has painted we can see how this trade actually ended up doing so this is when it triggered the trade triggered on 12 11 and we'll right click on that and we can hit the show report button um and this you know obviously it's using a default of 500 which is uh, not what i end up trading but anyway so you know this trade at 197,000, but we can adjust that right one of the things we can do is we can go into the ultimate trading strategy and uh, let's even 100 i know is um, you know something that people don't trade but on an average you know i trade at least 100 stocks so we'll default this to 100 so uh so, so the advantage of uh, you know something like this is that uh, you know you can uh, you know at any given point in time you know look for stocks that are outperforming the market right and the stocks that are outperforming the market are essentially the kind of stocks that you want to be trading right because uh, if they have done well over the last uh, let's say one quarter the likelihood is likelihood is that they will continue so look at the stock this has gained like about 54 dollars uh, since it uh, you know triggered a buy signal and uh, perhaps have to go way back right and this is where the buy signal was triggered and this trade uh, still hasn't closed yet right so these are essentially a set of stocks that uh, you know you would put on your trading list assuming you like trading these stocks that move a lot and the reason i prefer stocks uh, with the high atr is mainly because of the fact that if you're day trading you know i can use options so don't, i don't have to leverage i can you know be leveraged and use you know much uh, you know smaller amount of money uh, and be able to you know trade these more expensive uh, you know stocks right so krtx is another stock that i've traded a number of times because it's been on this list uh, quite a bit and uh, it's very likely that there's no current trade on it which which is which is perfectly okay right uh, we'll go back and take a look at maybe a, a couple other examples just to give you um, an idea of uh, you know how powerful this this scan is so this is another uh, you know good trade and uh, this is AYX and uh, uh, you know you can right click on any of them to see a report of how well they've done right so you can click on the show report part so uh, so this trade is also currently in flight and hasn't closed okay uh, so just uh, to summarize and I'm trying to keep this tutorial short so that uh, you know people don't get too bored with it is you know we have um, uh, a criteria which has three sets the first is uh, you know looking for stocks that have a percentage change of uh, um, at least 10% uh, sorry at least 30 
at least 20% over the last one quarter and 10% over the last one month. We are looking for stocks with an average volume of for half a million and uh, an ATR of three. Now let's assume that you prefer trading stocks that um, are in a certain price range. So you can do a um, add stock filter and uh, we can you know, either use this ask. Let's say you like trading stocks which are in the range of 10 and let's say $30. So one of the things I'll do is I wouldn't use ATR because ATR is more applicable to stocks that uh, you know have a big range like the Amazons, the Googles of the world and the Teslas of the world and the, and the Shopify and so on and so forth. So we can get rid of that and then what we can do is we can run a scan and it'll give you stocks in the range from 10 to $30 which trade at least half a million uh, you know with the uh, and have outperformed the market right so here's some good examples so this let's take a look at SPCE because this has been on the list as well quite often and uh, so um, let's take a, a look at you know how this has performed again so this is a stock that has been on my radar for you know some time because uh, now look at this it's just a ten dollar stock right and it has triggered uh, when since it triggered you know you've gained eight dollars on it so essentially um, you know almost you know getting to a, a double on this right so this is how you can use this scan and again you know you can go back in the scan and if it's too many you can you know further filter it down right using whatever criteria you can either increase the average volume or um, whatever else that uh, uh, you know you prefer that actually works for you from your trading perspective so hopefully this uh, helps and uh, have a, a great day and a wonderful weekend. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.